Docs Joe here of the Docs and the 2020 from.com. So, you know, it's that time of the year again when we're going to have a time change. Uh, the clocks are going to bounce forward by one hour. So we lose an hour. And then in seven months' time, we do the reverse where the clocks are to fall back uh, by an hour. But this uh, one in particular, where we lose an hour of our time, uh, affects us a lot. Uh, it does affect our physical and mental health. And that is what I want to talk about in this video. It's a short video. Uh, I just want to give you guys some awareness about what goes on in our body when uh, we have this daylight saving time. And I'm also going to give you some tips on uh, what to do to minimize the effects of uh, the daylight saving time. So without further ado, let's see how daylight saving time affects our health. So daylight saving time, what we also call DST. Do we like it or do we hate it? Why do we have daylight saving time at all? Can we do without it? Of course we can. But the authorities insist that we can't. Hence, uh, they've persisted with the idea. But the idea behind it really is that uh, when we have the DST, it extends day, daylight hours in the summer months. Uh, that means we have more wake time. Okay, that's the idea behind it. But even if we can deal with the daylight saving time event, what we really hate about DST is the sudden transition. This sudden transition is a problem for most of us because that sudden transition shocks our body systems, okay? And some of us, our bodies don't like it at all. So whether we love it or hate it, DST affects our health, okay? It certainly does affect my own health. Now, we all react differently to situations because we're different. Now, here is how your health may be affected by the DST, okay? By the daylight saving time. Research has shown us that there is an increase in hospital admissions for things like irregular heartbeat pattern, okay, what we call atrial fibrillations. Uh, there is an increase in hospital admissions for this irregular heartbeat pattern, okay, atrial fibrillations. Also, research tells us that we have an increase in heart attacks and strokes around this time of the daylight saving time, this time of clock adjustment. Also, injuries from uh, road traffic accidents. Uh, and that's because our focus and our judgments are affected by the clock change. Even your bowel function and speed of this uh, clocks moving forward uh, event. Okay, The DST event also affects our bowel function. For instance, immune-related intestinal disorders, they get worse with DST. Okay. Even the regularity of your bowel motions get affected as well by uh, DST. Uh, rates of depression increase uh, with uh, DST. Okay, so uh, this is also backed by research. Worse is the adverse effect on sleep. Okay, this is really badly affected by uh, the clocks going forward. What we need to remember is that every cell in our body is affected by the 24 hour clock. What that means is when there are changes to this clock pattern, that triggers stress. As a result of that, uh, we end up with dysfunctions in our behavioral, metabolic, and cognitive abilities. Okay, So it's amazing how a little change in time pattern can affect our behavioral, metabolic, and cognitive abilities. Uh, our bodies are quite complex. So what should you do to reduce the impact of daylight saving time. Uh, quick tips for you here. Uh, go to bed 20 minutes you know, before your usual bedtime, days before DST kicks in. Okay, That's one little thing you can do. Go to bed 20 minutes earlier. Avoid alcohol and caffeine use. Uh, it would be a good idea to avoid daytime naps. Also, reduce your exposure to blue light from cell phones, tablets, etc. Okay? Uh, these are little things that you can do uh, to help your body adjust. So hopefully you got some value from this very video. If you did, uh, please uh, give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video. And also please share this video with your friends, with your family and with your colleagues. Now, does this uh, time change affect you in any way, shape or form? If it does, uh, please do let me know in the comment section. I really would like to know. 
Um, I think that's about it uh, for this very video. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.